I just got done interviewing Vivian, she's quite the character. But I gotta say, I love the way she dresses. Was the interview in the Bratz magazine office? No, she insisted I visit her boutique and have the interview be held there. So how did it go? It was pretty interesting. The Bratz team and I have been very excited about featuring you in our next issue. Thank you for meeting me on such short notice. I was quite busy and I'm glad we get to have the interview in my office. I must say, Kyle, I'm extremely honored to be featured in the next issue. I'm very excited to answer some questions about my brand with you. Well, you have a super scorching boutique and people all over Stylesville just adore your pieces. What inspired you to start working in fashion? Well, I was always interested in fashion ever since I went to Still East University. I decided to major in fashion design because I've been making clothes ever since I was a child. And I've really been inspired by Jade specifically and Bratz Magazine in general. When I finished majoring in fashion design, I started mostly making garments for myself, but the fashion industry in Stylesville needed an update, something more sophisticated. I love that, and I must say your boutique is extremely chic. I love all the pieces I've been seeing so far. So what inspired you to create your own boutique? What inspired me most to create my boutique was actually my family. They've always been extremely hardworking individuals and have created very successful companies over the years. So I decided that I wanted to create my own path and start my own business. The Bratz team was also extremely influential because four women working together to create something special is extremely empowering and I wanted to make my own mark in Stylesville. Great answer! We love seeing emerging designers here in Stylesville. So why did you name your boutique Nanako? Oh, great question. Nanako was my grandmother's name. She was extremely wise and incredibly chic. She passed away a couple years ago. I just wanted to thank her and show my love and support by naming the boutique after her. Vivian, that's really beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. My condolences, by the way. Oh, thank you, darling. Yes, who is it? It's just me. Hey, babe. I was just wondering if we were going to attend the event tonight. Oh, um, am I interrupting something? Oh, not at all. Kyle, this is my boyfriend, Sebastian. Oh, um, hi. Wait, what? What's the problem? Kyle, it's not funny. You've got to be kidding me. I wish I was. Did he recognize you? No, thank God. You guys, I'm totally lost. What the hell are you two talking about? Natasha, it's THE Sebastian I got cheated on all those years ago when I was studying with you guys at Stilista University. Oh my god, wait, what? That's the Sebastian? Yeah. Are you f serious? Avi. I can't believe this. You guys got me a job working for his girlfriend? I'm so sorry, Valerie. I had no idea Vivian was dating him. Thanks, but that doesn't help at all. What he did to me back then, it scarred me for a really long time. The way he lied to me and cheated on me made me never want to date anyone, let alone live my own life. Sorry to be harsh, Valerie, but people cheat. Especially men out of all people. But the emotions you felt and how you reacted, that was all on you. As for the job, I had no idea Vivian even had a boyfriend. Natasha, now's not really the time for your life advice. Oh, come on, Kyle, you know I'm right. Blaming someone else for how you feel isn't exactly the most mature thing, now is it? I can't help it. I just felt so used, like I was just a doll to him. God, sometimes loving someone so much isn't really worth it. 
That's why I just focus on loving myself as much as possible. I guess you're right. Yeah, I agree. But I just got back here to start my life and this asshole shows up. Listen to me, Valerie. You're better than that piece of garbage and you know it. You broke up ages ago. You just need to get over it. I guess you're right. You're damn right I am. We've never seen him in the shop anyway, so I don't think we'll be seeing him anytime soon. Yeah, about that, you actually might. What? Why? Nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. Babe, Kyle here was just interviewing me for the next issue of Bratz magazine. Babe, that's great. I'm so proud of you. So I guess you'll be joining us at the party next week. Oh, absolutely. Along with my two employees, of course. Close friends and obviously clients. So you're saying she invited the both of us? Yeah, could be because she wants to make a good impression for Bratz magazine. Ugh, why does Sebastian have to come to this? Well, Vivian's his girlfriend. If I see him, I'm definitely leaving. Wouldn't do that if I were you. Yeah, Valerie, you basically just started working there. Vivian would be super offended. Plus, think about all the connections you'd be able to make. Vivian knows a ton of people in the fashion industry. You'd be able to get like a ton of job offers. Ugh, you guys both make really good points. I guess I'll try my best to avoid him at the party. I'll just be hiding behind you guys. We'll make sure you don't notice he's even there. Oh, of course. Thanks, guys. That means a lot. We're always here to help. Of course. Anyways, guys, I'm pretty tired and tomorrow we have a pretty long day at work, so I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, I'll probably take a shower and clear my head. Are we still meeting up tomorrow? I'll text you and let you know if I'm not busy. Good night, bitches. I love you so much. Us too, bitch. <laughs> Bye! Hey, Valerie, um, are you okay? Yeah, I feel a lot better now that I got all of this off my chest. Good, I'm glad. Well, I'll see you in the morning. I'm just gonna go get changed in my PJs and go to bed. Good night! since I heard from you. I've been a bit busy. That's good. Do you want to come over? Not tonight. But I have a favor to ask. <laughs> 